What stranger will you never forget? Fla Man said, I was driving down south with my girlfriend, we have a blowout, so I put on the donut. The donut blows out while we're exiting the very next exit. So there we are maybe 19 and at least 100 miles from anyone we know at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. I'm thinking on what to do next, and probably looked like there was something wrong, so this older man offered to help. He drives me 20 or so minutes to a junkyard to get a cheap tire. Then he puts the tires on the rim with no more than a pry bar and some soapy water. Had a compressor on his truck so he aired it up and I put it on. And we went on our way. Quintus Nana said, in college, I was dating a girl. I really loved her, but I realized that we were incompatible and we had to break up. So I downed a handle of vodka by myself in my dorm. I was drunk as FCK, but still feeling SH tight, so I decided to head to the bars and drink some more. I actually don't remember if I made it there or not, but I remember getting off the bus from having come from the bars and was too wasted to continue the relatively short walk to my dorm. I decided to just lay down where I was at, which was quite literally the gutter next to the railing. Luckily it was an empty gutter, but a gutter nonetheless. This complete bro dude comes by and sees me laying in the gutter and helps me up. He helps me walk back to my dorm and on the struggle there he asks me what's wrong. I explained the situation. I don't remember much of anything from the conversation, but I do remember him saying something to the effect of bro, your problems aren't gonna be solved at the bottom of a bottle. Fujin Shet said, I was at a pool bar at a resort in Jamaica. A British lady next to me asked me the most random question, which turned into a nearly three-hour conversation. The question, what is a redneck? It was a lot more difficult to explain than I thought it would be. I didn't realize that was an unknown concept to a lot of Brits. Basta Basta Kosi said, a fine young man on the bus I took to Orlando. So sexy, and we started talking as we waited for the last long leg to Orlando. We talked in line as we got on the bus and sat next to each other the whole time just talking and even flirting a bit. He was funny and thoughtful, but we knew we were just passing the time. Still, we talked so candidly during those last few hours that it made a real impression on me. We didn't exchange numbers or anything, but we both wished each other the best as he got off the stop before mine. I don't even remember his name and probably wouldn't know him if I saw him, but I remember the feeling of talking with him and, weirdly enough, even miss him. Hope he's all right. About 37 cats said, that one cute girl that you saw on vacation with your parents and you locked eyes but never saw again. Absolute Rage Queen said, few years ago, I was stopping at a red light and there was an old man selling candy. He approached my car and I was ready to tell him I didn't want anything, but he motioned me to roll my window down, gave me a lollipop and some gum, and said to the beautiful young lady, never forget you're a star, and walked away, before I could say anything. Needless to say he brightened my day. Now, whenever I'm sad, I think about that man telling me I'm a star. Never fails to cheer me up. Seabase 4507 said, when my wife and I first started dating, we were walking into a Trader Joe's holding hands. This elderly woman looks at us and says rather loudly, cute couple alert, my wife and I still laugh about it, it's been 12 years at least. Mrs. Yaoji said, the man who saw hubby and I struggling to put our newly purchased snowblower into our, too small, car. He put it into his pickup truck and followed us home and unloaded it onto our drive. It was that moment that I realized that people are kind and that we were officially old pathetic geezers.